One of the most frequent questions I get about leadership is about the idea of risk. How much do you risk? What do you risk in? And what do you not risk in? So today, stick around. I'm going to give you four practical ideas of how to take a good leadership risk and where to do it. Stick around. Hi, it's a Trigger, Rich Bontrager, back for another Leaders and Communicators, and we're going to talk about risk today. One of those things in leadership that sometimes we appreciate, we get thrilled about, and sometimes it scares the daylights out of us. I've been a leader, a pastor, motivational speaker, and a broadcaster for 25 years, and in all my areas, there's always been an element of risk, something I've had to decide, I'm going to step out, I'm going to go for it. So today, as we get underway, I'm going to ask you this question. What's the biggest risk you've ever taken? Put it down in the comments section here today. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and follow along as we discuss four important elements of risk. And I'm hoping that maybe there's some areas of this that you've never, ever thought about. So risk, by the way, is not a bad thing. Leaders, you got to realize risk is a part of what we do. Now, everything I'm going to share here today comes from a little information card. I made a risk card years ago, and I have shared this, talked on this, and recently I remade it into a nice pin, a little poster that we're going to have down at the end of the entire talk that you'll be able to download for free. So stick around to the end, and I'll let you know more about how you can get that. So risk, it's a part of being a leader. The first thing I want to point out in my four tips is care more than you think wise. If you're going to be a leader, you can't just blow through people. You can't just wildly ask things of people. You need to show that you care for the people you are empowered and entrusted to lead. And that means you need to invest in your people. Show them you're not just a leader. You're not just a tough guy or that tough gal. You really care about how they feel, about how they're doing, what they're achieving, why they're achieving it. Care more than you think wise. Second, let's talk about risk. Risk more than you think safe. In every one of my areas of my careers, there's kind of a point where I've had to risk more than others thought wise. When I was a church planner, and I began to prepare and plan for the launching of our church, my family and I prayed, we talked, we planned for the big risk of me not having a full-time real job and planting a church, fundraising, trusting other people to help support it, and the risk of there was no plan B. If this church plant thing did not work, what are we going to do? What is dad going to do? Risk more than you think safe. And third, it goes right out of that. You have to dream more than People think practical. I'm a dreamer. Many of the greatest leaders have been dreamer, and the reason they risk is they have big, radical dreams. If you're going to risk, if you're going to care more than people think is wise, let it be a dream that we're dreaming and it's big. How are you going to change education? Dream big dreams. How are you going to launch that new company to feed people overseas? Dream big dreams. How are you going to help people come back together after divorce and shattered lives? Dream big dreams. Bigger than people think practical. And finally, out of all that, expect more than people think possible. If you're going to risk, if you're going to go big, if you're going to care, if you're going to dream, expect more than people think possible. I've always believed in great, amazing things that can happen. I've always wondered, what if, what if? And out of those, I have raised expectations of what happens if I do this, if I step out here, if we go this direction, I expect this to happen. There's no guarantee, and that's the wondrous, mysterious thing about risk. It calls something out of you to risk, to go big, but you better expect it to happen, or don't do it. Now, I'm going to ask you one more question as we wrap up here today, is what type of faith do you have? Risk requires faith. All four of my points require you to have faith 
and what you're doing, why you're doing it, who you're doing it for, and the outcome of it. How much faith do you have as a leader? If you're going to risk, you better have high faith. So let me hear from you today. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me a question. And remember, what's the greatest risk you've ever taken? Let me hear from you today. Until next time, God bless. Have a great week. I'm the Trigger, Rich Bontrager. We'll talk to you soon.